Hello, Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to learn how and why to create product lookups. So let's get started. You know, the first question you might want to know is what is a product lookup? Let's simply put a product lookup is a simple alias SKU or pointer that points to a product ID or a product ID and lot ID combination in Finale Inventory. That's a lot to uh, take in. Well, let's kind of break it down. What is a product lookup used for? Well, it's used to map a marketplace or a selling channel listing SKU to your inventory product ID that's in Finale. So they may be the same or they may be different, but this is how we map it. You also use a product lookup to link a barcode or a UPC value to your inventory product ID. It's also used to maybe link a multi-pack listing SKU to a single product ID in Finale Inventory with a multiplier called packing. So in other words, you might have a three pack of something that's equal to three of one item, and you can use a product to look up to do that. You also use product lookups to tell Finale Inventory where your SKU is listed and to enable if, it, if you want it for stock level pushback. So to recap, why do you need a product lookup? Well, when you have different SKUs on different marketplaces and selling channels, the product lookup is used to map them all back to a single product ID in inventory. And if you want to use the mobile barcode scanner, you must have a product lookup. That is the value of the barcode that links it to the product ID in inventory that you are scanning. And then lastly, the product lookup is how Finale knows where you have listed the SKU and that it gets its inventory from the product ID that it's mapped to. So let's jump into Finale and see how you do this. So you might want to know that there are basically three different ways to create product lookups. You can do it manually, one by one, from the product lookup view screen. We're going to cover that. You can import from a spreadsheet, and we're going to cover that. But you also need to know that if you use one of our integration Product imports, you can also enable automatic lookups created there. And we're not going to cover that in this video. So let's jump over to Finale Inventory and show you how to do this. So where might you go to create a product lookup? All right, the, the tip here is go up to your inventory menu and go to product lookup. So here is where you're going to find the product lookup view. And here, right at the top of the screen, you're going to see a create new product lookup. This is where you would do it onesie twosie, and we're going to go through that. You can import product lookups. You can also export product lookups. Now, remember, a product lookup is going to be a pointer to the product ID. So what you see in the product lookup column is either a marketplace listing SKU, or it could be a barcode value. Um, you know, one of those two things. So there's already some in my file, but let's go create some. So if I go back over to the product screen here, you can see how I have some product inventory items. One is 1111, and it's a red shirt, 222, and it's a white shirt, 333, and it's a blue polo shirt. So you'll notice I don't have any lookups. Now, I also can get right back to the lookup screen here. You notice that we can get to lookups here, but it's also right here, right next to the product screen. So if I wanted to create a lookup for the 1111 red polo shirt. And let's say it's listed differently. Let's say it's listed as a red shirt large. So I'm going to create one manually. So I just create one. I type in what the marketplace SKU would be or the listing SKU. So I can type in red dash shirt dash L. This, I want to link this or map it to my inventory item called the 1111 red polo shirt. Now I can type a note, it's not required. I don't need to pay attention to the lot ID because in this particular instance, it's not involving a lot ID or any specific. It's not a multi-pack, so I'm not gonna use the packing. And at this moment, 
if I wanted to assign it to a store or a selling channel, then I could click here and I could choose. Well, I've got two integrations enabled. You will not see these options in the stores if you have not added the integration to the marketplaces. So let's just say maybe this is going to be on my eBay store. So I can choose that. And now I'm basically telling Finale that on eBay, I listed it as this. It's going to link to this one in my inventory. And this is where it's at. So I create the product lookup. That's all there is to it. If I want to create another one, I can just go right here. So another thing maybe I'm going to do is we talked about maybe a, a multi-pack where you might sell a three-pack of something. So the three-pack is just a quantity of three times the one item. So remember, let's kind of refresh this. If I go back to my little product list here, let's say I was going to create a three-pack of the blue shirts. So you notice how, I'll, how I have the blue shirts. Well, 3333 is my SKU, the inventory SKU for one shirt. Well, I don't have to create another inventory item for a three pack because the three pack is really just go to the shelf and get three of product 3333. So let's say on eBay I listed it and I listed it as a blue L 3PK. And I just want that anytime anybody orders that, they're going to go and we're just going to take. A quantity of three of three 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 from inventory so I'm going to set that up so I'm going to go over here I can create a new lookup and I'm going to say look my lookup is blue or my marketplace SKU is blue dash L dash three PK and I want that to be linked to my three 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 and I'm going to say look that's equal to a quantity of three of this object and then I can go ahead and link it to my eBay store that's as easy as it is. So now let's go back to the product lookup and see the two that we created. So we created these bottom two here. So we're basically saying, look, if an order comes through from any site that has, says blue L 3PK, it equals this part number in inventory. And by the way, take three away from inventory. And then this one's just a simple remapping of what's a red shirt large. It equals the 111 object in inventory. And it's just a single, so you leave the packing alone. Don't, don't, you don't need to put a one in there for a single item. And then I can see where the, the SKU is listed over here on my eBay. And these don't have a store because maybe these are barcodes. Okay, so now, now that you've seen how to create them um, onesie twosie, you can also import them. You might say, oh my gosh, I have a whole lot. I'm not going to do them one at a time. Yeah, don't. So what we want you to understand, you can do the import. And when you hit the import, always pay attention here. You can get a downloaded template if you need one. Don't worry about that. You just need to kind of pay attention to the fields that you can use. Now, the required fields are the lookup and the product ID that it's mapping to. Optionally, you can use packing, lot ID, notes, stores to add, and stores to remove. Meaning if you're adding it to the channel or telling Finale it's on a channel or an integration, you will use the stores to add. If you're going to take it down or don't no longer associate it, you can use stores to remove. Now the value that you put in these two columns, they come from your integration. So you notice how each of your integrations that you add has an integration name. This one's called Amazon. Now this integration is called My eBay Store. So we wouldn't type eBay in the stores to add value. We're gonna type My eBay Store. It is an eBay channel, but we named it explicitly differently. So we'll use this name, not this, okay? And then we could add a Shopify if we needed one. All right, so that's where those come from. So let's go back to the, to the lookup screen. We're gonna go back to the import. So let's import. So I've got a spreadsheet here. And in the spreadsheet, I've kind of gone ahead and pre-populated it for you. So notice I had these two green columns here. Wanted you to know that those are kind of like the, the, the mandatory or required optionality you would be using some of these other fields the yellow ones i kind of coded in relation to marketplaces um, that you would be using mostly those in addition to the greens but now you can see how easy it is i can make a list of my listings so these are my 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 listing SKUs or my aliases or my barcodes remember it's any or all of those so you can see i've got some listings here for ebay and i'm going to point these SKUs to the inventory items, and I'm going to associate them to eBay. These here 
are the same objects, but they're over on Amazon. So I have a different SKU over there. So I'm basically saying this is another alias that points to the same inventory item, but this is ones that I've listed on Amazon. Now these here are some barcodes because when I check them out or use them in uh, order fulfillment with our mobile scanner, I'm gonna be scanning this barcode and it needs to deduct that from inventory. So now you see how we do that, okay? It's not necessary that you put notes in here. I'm doing that for my own good or for my own um, knowledge or to share somebody with somebody else if they look at it and say, what is this? It makes no sense. It doesn't match my listing. Yeah, it's because I just put a note, it's a barcode. And then of course, I'm gonna go down here and show you how to use those multi-packs. So I could create a red L3 pack, and that means it equals this part three times. This is a white two pack, so it equals this part number two times. This is how you do it. So let's go ahead and bring this information in. I'm gonna copy, make sure you include the header row. So it's very important, you copy the header row. Remember, notes is optional, lot ID is definitely optional. You don't even need to have it in your spreadsheet if you're not gonna be using them. Okay, and packing is optional too. If you're not doing multi-packs, you could eliminate the column altogether. But we're using this as an example. So I've copied it. Let's go back to Finale. Here you go, click, you're gonna say paste. And then Finale is gonna give you a review of what it, what it understands. So it understands you're creating 11 new lookups and it recognizes all of them. And it's basically taking all the information in, it's gonna add them into the system. So we say next and commit. We just now created 11 lookups by importing them from Excel. And now I have a whole list of lookups. That's as easy as it is to create lookups.